Hi everyone. My name is Aman. I create DevOps and cloud content to share my learning with the community. So as 2026 is approaching and we are going to wrap up this 2025 and a lot of people, you might have a good year so far. And we are also expecting that the same thing we would like to show in the next year where we will learn a lot and share a lot of learning to the community. But today I'm not going to show any demonstration or any project because whenever we do projects, so we used to create those projects, blogs or videos or GitHub repositories and main maintaining all those stuff. And sometimes we wanted to get something back from the community where if I'm creating something, so I'm expecting that at least I should get the recognition that whatever I'm doing instead of followers or reads. So today I'm going to cover you one of the amazing program from AWS, which is AWS Community Builder. And a lot of people you might have heard about it or a lot of people already joined or they are already in this program. So today I'm going to show you that how can you become an AWS Community Builder because I'm an AWS Community Builder since last three years. And when I've started my journey, I learned a lot in that time. And whatever the learning that I got, I would like to share with you, like, how was my experience and how can you become the AWS community builder? And what are the reasons? Like, why should we apply for this? Because if you're creating content or if you're trying to create any kind of documentation over platform like Medium, Hashnode, YouTube or any other platform. So this will help you a lot where we will discuss what are the things about it. So let's break it down all those things and let's get started so first of all you can see this is the builder center so this is i would say one of the feature or one of the thing that you will get once you will become an aws community builder where in their aws community builder directory your name will be listed along with that your profile will also be listed so if you just click on this linkedin so it will open your linkedin account so if someone wants to validate whether you are an official AWS community builder or not, so they can validate from here and it will take them to their official LinkedIn profile. So if you don't know what is AWS community builder program, so first of all, I would like to tell you about that program in a brief. So this program is running by official AWS where they are looking for active learners and contributors who are sharing their knowledge on the platform like LinkedIn, Medium or any other platform. So if you are using their product in your project, so this is the higher chance that you can nominate yourself to become a community builder. So AWS is looking for those kind of person or learners who are sharing their knowledge. So like ultimately the goal of this community is sharing is caring. So that kind of agenda they followed and a lot of community we used to like see, we used to see like HashiCorp ambassador program or Azure also have that kind of program in a brief, but exactly the AWS community builder program. Now, the next thing that we have to jump on, which is that who can apply. So as I've told you that if you're sharing anything with the community over LinkedIn or any other platform, so you can nominate yourself. And if you have active since last few days on LinkedIn, so you have seen that there is some post you might have seen related to AWS community builder program where you can shortlist yourself or join the waitlist. So if I just go to the home of this builder center, so this is the community. And if I just search for AWS community builder program 2026, so like the first link you can see community builders. And if you can, if you click on this, so you will see that you can fill the form by clicking on this join the waitlist button and you can ask them like that if you want to join this program. So you can fill your details and whenever the application will be opened. So most of the time the application will be opened in January to March month. So like you can also read a lot of things. So in between of two weeks, you will have to apply. And after that, AWS folks will review your profile, whatever you have created. So that kind of thing they will see from your profile, whatever you have shared, and then they evaluate whether you should be in that program or not. So again, I will come to the same part that who can apply to this AWS community builder program. So any kind of content you are creating, like you're creating any project, like it can be a basic project, it can be your basic project, or if you are sharing your journey where like you are learning something kind of a challenge you, you took like 
30 days of challenge of Kubernetes that I did in my past. So that kind of thing also helps you to nominate yourself that, okay, I can be a AWS community builder because I used some of the AWS product as well, like AWS services. And I can say that you are the solid candidate if you are creating the AWS content and to want to be a part of this program because AWS folks will check your profile properly in a very detailed way, whether you have created what kind of content and like the content also should not contain the AI related words. Like if you're creating the content with the help of chat GPT or any other GPT model. So you might get disqualified because of that as well. So you can write 60 to 70% content yourself or 90% content yourself. But when things comes to introduction or conclusion, so I usually don't write introduction or conclusion by myself because I am focusing on my main content that is hands-on or a particular thing that I wanted to say in a particular blog. Also, one more thing I would like to say that if you are not perfect in anything, it's not a big issue because AWS asks you for the consistency. If you don't have the perfection on a particular tool, it's fine because you're learning and you're sharing with the community. So whenever you're sharing something, so there are a lot of people who will correct you even if I share something over LinkedIn. So a lot of people used to share their insights and trust me, that is a, one of the good thing because if someone is correcting you at that moment, so ultimately you're learning something. But the point that I am at least posting something, so I'm sharing my insights and someone else who has more experience than me is sharing their insights. So this is one of the important thing whenever you're creating content. So you might feel demotivated that maybe my content is not good enough or it is very basic so like everyone is starting from zero no one is starting from 100 or 90 right so you have to understand that thing as well that it's fine if you're creating things from scratch so now let's talk about the main thing that what will happen if we become a community builder program so if we selected into that into aws community builder program so you have to understand because you're doing something you are giving some time to the particular thing where you're doing the things and then recreating the things to share with the community so yes like aws have a lot of benefits where they will provide you a lot of things so let's understand so i'll just write it down what exactly this program contains so the first thing that aws provide which is minimum 500 dollar credits so maybe you will say that no man it's not minimum it's 500 dollar credits only you might have seen on particular blog post or official AWS site. But I will say that no, it's a minimum because let's suppose if you exhausted your $500 credit, which they give you when you are selected in that builder program. So you can ask from your community manager that I am doing some particular project. And for that, I need some credits and they will definitely give you, they will give you a particular voucher and that you can redeem it because I've tried that and it really works. But for that, you need to give some proofs that they might ask you for that. Okay, if you're creating something, please show us so we can ensure that, yes, you are asking the credit for the right work. Maybe you are using it to deploy the application of a particular client, which is not a good thing, right? So for that, AWS provides you the minimum $500 credits. Now, the next one of the important thing in DevOps, we have to do a lot of certifications like Kubernetes has has its own certification that around $400 plus you have to give for a particular certification like CKA, CKS or CCAT. And if you want to do certifications in other cloud like Azure or GCP, so everyone like in every cloud, you have to pay some cost. And also you have to do the same thing with AWS. So AWS provides you one certification voucher. So if you want to get a certification in a particular domain of aws so you can do that so any kind of certifications it's not limited to basics because you know the costing of specialty certifications or intermediate or basic level certifications cost is different so you don't have to pay any cost it would be at zero cost so every year you will get one certification voucher from aws then every year aws sends you the swags so for that, you will get the swags and I would say goodies. So like swags contain a lot of things like sometimes it will have the a cap for the AWS community builder or it can be a bottle or coffee cup. I got the swags for three times in first, I got the cap and bottle. Then they send me a bag. And in the third, I think there is something, a traveling purse they give you. And along with that, you will also get some diaries or pens of AWS. So these kind of swags, they covers you. 
and maybe i'm missing something because i'm not able to remember but swags is very important things if you want to showcase so you can wear the cap and play the cricket like we used to play in india then the next thing is that they also provide you the access to the premium learning resources so let's suppose if you want to learn something and don't you don't have any udemy course so for that aws has a type with cloud academy and with the help of cloud academy so there are a lot of courses on cloud academy related to aws and some other resources as well so, so you can learn anything from their website so i can just go to that cloud academy so this is a platform that is like renamed from cloud academy to qa.com so you will see a lot of courses so if you want to explore the courses if i just search for aws so i can get multiple courses on aws where you can see that AWS Certified Machine Learning Associate exam prep. So if you want to learn something from a paid platform, so QA.com is there for you, which is typed with AWS. So you don't have to pay any cost and it is again at free of cost. So the next, which is my favorite, and that is you can network with AWS experts. So there are a lot of people who has more understanding than you and you would like to be in that group where you want to learn something because no one wants to be in that circle where they are not learning anything like it's good to share your knowledge but in the end you are expecting yourself to learn something from them as well so like this is my approach whenever i want to be in that circle so for that i always admire that from this person i will learn something or at least i will get some insight so whenever i will get back to my home so i can look into that that okay i should do it i should try this this is a very important thing and very good thing whenever if you want to collaborate with a particular person who is in your program so you can do that as well so these are the benefits for the aws community builder program and that is one of the main reasons why you should be in that builder program so this is about the real benefits now let's see like maybe you have you understand the benefits now you wanted to say that aman it's fine i understand the benefits but how can i apply for it or what should i think that i can improve on myself to become an aws community builder so the first thing that we have to understand that what exactly aws looks for so as i've told you earlier that aws is not looking for a advanced level topics or advanced level blogs or content they are looking for a people who are learning who are consistent who share learnings publicly like linkedin or any other platform who help the community and they are who are generally passionate so these kind of things they always look in a particular person who wants to become an aws community builder so in the end you can say that intent is more matter than expertise so i would say again that if you're a beginner don't worry you can also apply because when i have applied it at that moment i had just started creating content on the medium and fortunately i selected in that program because of my few good blogs and you can also follow some of the things that you can do so now let's go to the main as i've told you about this program in a very detailed way so i would share the thing that is currently going on so this is the link that i will also provide you in this video's description so you can go to this page and you just need to click on this join the waitlist and it will open one form from aws so this is the form that you can see which is aws community builder waitlist so so this is not application form because the application form is not open. And as you can see that applications are open for a two week period in the next January. So after one month, you will see the exact form where you have to fill your details. So when they open, you will receive one email with the link to apply. So as you can see that when they open, you will receive an email. So, so you might not following the news in the future that the application is, is open. So, so if the application is open so i will fill that application with whatever the content that i've created in the last year so for that what you can do you can just provide mail id and the name and the rest of the information you should provide and then after that you just need to click on a submit and whenever the application will be open in the future maybe in the january so you will get a link and there you will have to fill a form and to be honest it is a lengthy form like at least it will take at least 20 to 30 minutes if you're not using any AI. So I would recommend you to at least try things on your own. Then you can ask ChatGPT or any other AI bot to rephrase it. If you have done a particular project in the last year, so specify what exactly you have done and what are the outcomes of that. Like if there is any achievement from that blog, like the blog might cross a good views, maybe 10,000, 20,000 views on medium so you can also share that this is one of the my best blog that crossed this much views once you fill that form so again it will take 
around one to two months to evaluate because there are a lot of applications they used to get. So it will take a lot of time. And also this is for, I'm talking about for first year, but if you completed your one year, so you have to renew every year. And this is a one year program. This is the yearly cycle. So there you have to renew yourself every year or each year. Let's say I have completed my three years for this since I'm in this community builder program. So I have to renew myself as well for fourth year. Let me know if you want me to create a video once the application will open. So I can also guide you what are the things that you can write. So like I can show you live where I will be writing exactly whatever I have done. So from that, you can understand what are the things you have to add in your application whenever the application will be open. So just let me know in the comments. I hope you understand about the AWS Community Builder program today. And I wish you the best of luck for the upcoming 2026 and you will learn a lot. And that's it for today's video. I will see you in the next video. Have a good day. Take care.